I'm in the back room now. I don't speak any German, but I have to change into my merchandise now. They don't have any shirts big enough for me. I think they only have women's sizes. shelves. Alright, day one is complete. Oh, I finally take my mask off. I have normal sized clothes on again. Great. So, today's Valentine's Day, and Issa thinks that I forgot, but I didn't. But I wanted to make it her think that I forgot, so that it's a surprise. So, we're gonna go get some stuff, and she's waiting for us outside, and then we're gonna have Valentine's Day. I think that's her car. Okay, yeah, there's the Hunter x Hunter pants. Hello. Will you be my Valentine? <laughs> I look so ugly. Nein, du bist sehr schön. So cute. Will you be my Valentine? Yes, oh, my favorite Chucky. Yeah, and I got us that too. Nice. I just stocked that and then I took it off. <laughs> <laughs> that I work at is conveniently next to <laughs> Issa's favorite Döner kebab place. I'm smiling. <laughs> Did I get you good? Yeah. Did I surprise you? Yeah. All favorite right. Food. Favorite, favorite food, favorite flowers, the roses, and favorite chocolate. Yeah. Nice. All right, so yesterday I worked my first job in Germany. So what was it like? What do you expect if you are an American thinking about moving to Germany and you're like, what the heck am I gonna do for work or how am I gonna even do that? I don't speak German or hopefully I can help out a little bit with this. So first of all, if you start any new job, it's going to be crazy, it's going to be overwhelming, it's going to be information overload when you first start it. So that's going to happen no matter what. Don't let that deter you. You're always going to be nervous going into a new job. You're always going to be overwhelmed after that first day. That is going to happen no matter what. And even though I was just stocking shelves at a grocery store, after I was done and I finally got off, I did feel overwhelmed and overstimulated and it was just insane. But not speaking German didn't really have a whole lot to do with that. It just was different. Because like I said, that's going to happen no matter what with any new job you get. So how was it for me working that job specifically, not knowing how to speak German? It actually wasn't too different. I mean, look, a company wants you to be the best that you can be because if you're the best that you can be then you are going to perform best for the company and that's what the company cares about i was paired with an english speaking guy who was training me for the day and all that so it really wasn't too bad i always had him to fall back on i did have a bunch of german customers come up to me and ask me questions and 
Luckily, I knew enough German by now to basically tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not very good at speaking German. And that's pretty much it. And they would just be like, okay, cool. And then they would move on to like the next person that they saw that work there and ask them the same thing and then they could help them and like yes it was very nerve-wracking going into that i was dreading those conversations and they still aren't like easy to do but you just kind of do it and then people don't care and they're like all right well whatever i'm looking for my tomato sauce so i'm just gonna go ask this other guy where the tomato sauce is dogs are back so if i have to say anything it's that you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. And I'm also telling myself this, my future self this, but you can do it. These are just people that are trying to talk to you and you can do it. It's not really like that crazy. It's not really that big of a deal. It's just, you just deal with it and you can do it. It's doable. And the other thing is there is so much communication that happens through like inflection and how you say something and body language and pointing and gestures and stuff like that, that like you can communicate with people by being like, uh, 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 I'm looking for the thing over and can you like grab it? Like, you know what I mean? Like there's so many other ways of communicating too. Like that's how I did a lot of the communicating with other people that I'm working with that are just German speaking. And like, yeah, it's awkward and it's difficult and it's clearly not the most efficient, but you just kind of figure it out and you can do it. Like it's doable. I get that it's scary and it's nerve wracking and it maybe is like embarrassing and like I'm feeling all those things too. But then after you're done and you look back, you're like, oh, I did it. You know what I mean? So if I could do it, you could do it. If I could do it, you could do it. If I could do it, you could do it. If I if you could do it, like I, if I could do it, you could do it, okay? So the first day went well, and I think I'm gonna work there full time until I find something else. So that's pretty cool, and I will be giving you guys more updates along the way, but until then, I will see you guys next time.